play. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Invader! He was the number one draft choice of the Chicago Sting in the MISL. Was also drafted by the Milwaukee Wave and later uh, his rights acquired by Chicago. Starting lineup for the Shockers, your forwards are Michael Lashoff and Chavez, Salvador Valencia, with Martin Rincon at midfield. And the defenders are Louis Matus and Ruben Stevan. The kickoff knocked away, and Condridge controls for the Invaders. Tomo forward to an open Maurer. He shoots, and a good save out front by Zimmerman. The kick save knocked out, and Kia couldn't get to the rebound. They try to clear it to Valencia, but it's knocked back by Condridge. Tomo will draw the whistle, though, on the trip, and that's the first team foul of the game, and it goes against the Invaders. We've played 22 seconds at the Civic Center, and the Shockers will put the ball in play in the goal area. Zimmerman picks it up, outlet to midfield on the left side to Lashoff. Lashoff working against Pisano. There is a good matchup. We'll watch for that all night long. Oscar forces him back into the uh, Chicago end. And the ball deflected by Kondrich and taken by Kia. Invaders attack three on two. Kia move, feed. Kondrich in the corner. He shoots no. Rebound. Nobody home out front except Lashoff. And he clears it to Valencia. Chava left side at midfield. Forward in the pass uh, knocked away by Kondrich. He wanted uh, Lashoff. And Valencia took it away in the corner. Through the front of the goal area. Tobin waiting for the rebound for the Invaders. Being hounded by Lashoff, but he's able to dump it back in the goal area. And Nemoski shovels the outlet on the right side to Oscar Pisano. Pisano midfield now, and Oscar cuts it to the middle of the floor. Chicago red line, pushes it ahead to Don Tobin. Tobin feeds Kia, working back to the net. Double team, triple team. Ball knocked away. Pisano got it back. Kia clears midfield. 
Condrich off the sideboards. He hit it too high and knocked it into the invader bench. Chicago will put it in play. And the other line, we do not have Magic Celeste in. It will be Artie Kramer at midfield with Steve Frick and Rudy Pikasinski, the forward spots, and the defenders are Walt Schlothauer and Tim Tima. On the floor now for Chicago, Neil Swindell's at one forward position along with Elvis Comrie. George Wendell is at one defender position. The other defender spot is being manned by Rudy Glenn, and the midfielder is David Wolf. Now Mosky pounces on the loose ball on the right side and the outlet left side midfield to Art Kramer. Artie will back it up to the invader red line, dump it in front of the arc to Schlothauer, pushes it up on the right side to Tim Tima. Chicago backing up in their own end, ball headed up in the air by Comrie, and the Shockers will control, but Pikasinski will contest that. They knock it in the goal area. Zimmerman scoops it up before Kramer could arrive on the scene. The outlet at midfield intercepted by Tima, but Kramer had the ball knocked away by Comrie, and Chicago will set it up again. Wolf feeds on the right side to Swindells, and Pikasinski pounding Comrie with it. Comrie across the red line. Frick picks him up, deflects it ahead to Rudy. Rudy pushed off of the ball by Wendell, but Frick gets it over to Kramer. Artie in front of the midfield circle. Right side at midfield to Frick, and now back to Walt Schlothauer. Schlothauer picked up on the side of the circle by Swindells. Right side in front of the invader bench to Tima. 12.40 to play in the first quarter, no score. Walter sends it airborne in the left corner in the uh, Chicago defensive end for Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski back to the net out of a double team, and the ball squirts back into the goal area. And uh, Frick able to knock it away before the keeper could get it. Rudy tries to dig it out, does. Kramer had it ball knocked away. Wolf sends it ahead to Comrie. Comrie in a race. Namoski will get there first. Comrie hammers him, no call. And Schlothauer able to knock the ball away, however. And now Billy's back in front of the net, and the invaders control Schlothauer ahead to Kramer. Hardy pushes it up the right side of the floor for Tim Tima. Tima for Frick. Frick pushed from behind. That'll be the first foul on Chicago. It'll go against Rudy Glenn. Team fouls are even at one apiece here in the first quarter. 12.03 to play and no score. Invaders are 3-1. and one. Chicago is 3-2. and two. They beat Toledo last night 8-7 in a wild one up at the Toledo Sports Arena. Kramer winds and fires and that one picked off somebody in the front row of Section 9. Goal kick coming up for Chicago, and both teams will choose to use the break to change lines. Rincon, Lashoff, Valencia up front with Matus and Stevan on defense. Maurer, Tobin, and Kia, the forward line for the Invaders. Pisano and Kondrich on D. Zimmerman has the ball in the goal area for Chicago. Dumps it ahead to midfield, picked off by Tomo, and it's uh, gotten back by Rincon. Rincon ahead, Valencia, Pisano beat him to it in the corner. Oscar with a spin move to get around. The invaders come on the attack. Pisano through the midfield circle, ahead for Tobin. Tobin lets it clear behind Stevan. Ball was deflected down on the side by Rincon, and Rincon sends it forward. Chava Valencia, midfield on the left side. Kia trying to get around him, and he dumps it in the corner for Stevan. Stevan turns, move around Kia, but Pisano is waiting there, and he dumps it back into the point to Valencia. Valencia will back it up to midfield. With the ball now is Matus. Matus sends it into the right corner, and Pisano beats Stevan there. Stevan pushing and hacking, and he gets the whistle. Second team foul on Chicago. And the Invaders to put it in play with 11.08 in the period. Don Tobin right side in the Invader defensive end out across the red line. Toby cuts it to the middle of the floor and drops it back to Oscar Pisano. Right side at midfield to Condridge. Tomo sends it in the defensive end. The ball is a little long for Maurer and it's loose in the corner. Rincon able to stump it in the goalkeeper and Valencia has it at midfield. Valencia with a right side feed to Lashoff. Lashoff whiffed on the pass and Maurer ends up with it for Canton. And they dump it back in the goal area to Bill Numofsky. Billy making his second start of the year. 1-0 with a win over Milwaukee last Friday night. 2.00 goals against average. Don Tobin left side at midfield. Forward for Kia. Kia back to the net in the Milwaukee defensive end. And being hounded by Matus. Back out to Tobin. Tobin forward. The pass for Maurer was picked away. But Condrich got it back for Canton. And Pisano at midfield. Forward for Steve Maurer. Maurer left corner feeds. Tomo fires. And it's blocked out front. A nifty save by Zimmerman. That one went up over the glass and out of play. It'll be a corner kick from the left side for the Invaders with 10-14 to play in the first period. 
And the Kramer Pikasinski Frick line is back in. Tima and Schlotthauer on defense. Defenders for Chicago are Wolf and Wendell. And your front line, Swindell's Comrie and Rudy Glenn. Kramer feeds, Schlotthauer fires. It's in the crowd, but the whistle blew before they put the ball in play, and they'll do it again from the left corner. No time runs off the clock. Kramer will kick it in from the spot on the left side. Hardy feeds, middle of the floor. It's knocked away, and coming up with it for Chicago is Swindell's, and he got pushed, and they call obstruction, and the team files are even at two apiece. Chicago will put the ball in play right side on their side of the midfield stripe. And that was a very poor pass by David Wolf. It went over the glass and out of play, and it'll be a goal kick for Kent. 10.06 to play in period number one. No score at the Civic Center. You're with WHBC FM in Canton, Ohio. Next broadcast on 1480 AM of the Invaders next Thursday night, December 4th at Fort Wayne. That's a 7.05 kickoff. We hit the air at 6.55. The Invaders' next home game is next Friday night against the beloved Louisville Thunder and Keith Tozer. Art Kramer working back to the uh, midfield line at his red line to Billy Namoski. And now the right side feed to Kramer. Hardy launches it ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy got behind the defender. Wall pass behind Frick. Frick, he shoots. It's blocked. Off the chest of Kramer. Hardy moves it out in the corner. And the ball's knocked over the glass and out of play by Rudy Glam. Our lucky Invader fan contest tonight, the second quarter. Next quarter, your chance to win a certificate for dinner for two at the Tavern in the Tower and two tickets to a future Invader home game. Should we draw your card and the Invader score in that period? Tima will put the ball in play, touchline right side in the Chicago defensive end with 9.36 to play in the first quarter. Tima, red line to Schlotthauer, and the right side to Tima, and now back in the invader end to Bill Namofsky. Namofsky passes around Valencia, Lashoff working on Tima, and Timmy will give it right back to Bill. Bill out across the red line, sends it ahead, off the boards for Rudy. Rudy trying to get inside his man, couldn't do it, and the ball rolls into the waiting hands of the goalkeeper, Zimmerman. Long lead for Lashoff. Tima deflected it long enough to force Lashoff down in the corner. Lashoff coming back outside, feeds it out front. Here is Matus, shot deflected on a sliding play by Schlotthauer over the glass and out of play. Chicago will put it in. 9.06 to play in the first quarter. Happy 21st birthday to Mike Paxos. Down on the Invader bench for mom and dad. He celebrated a little early last Friday with his first Invader goal against the Milwaukee Wave. Rincon to put the ball in play for Chicago. Referees tonight are Terry Campbell and Rick Hanna. And they dump it in the corner for Ruben Stevon, but Pisano stepped in front and took the ball away. Oscar turned spin. Stevon still hounded him, but Oscar able to clear it in the goal area for Namaski. Namaski wanted the long outlet, instead gives the short feet in the left side to Kia. Kia forward for Kondrich at the Chicago red line. Kondrich down in the left corner for Maurer. Maurer back to the net out of a double team. Tried to get Kia, and the ball was cleared away by Matus. All the way down in the invader, and Namaski out in the corner to flag that one down. 8.35 to play in the first quarter, no score. Pisano ahead for Don Tobin. Now Oscar working on Valencia. He sends it airborne for Maurer in the Chicago end in the right corner. Maurer trying to turn, ball deflected. It comes out to midfield, and Kondrich will flag it down. Well, he'll leave it for Namofsky. Namofsky right, left side at the Canton red line to Tomo. Kondrich sends it ahead for Kia. Kia trying to get inside, a man does, and he's taken down by Valencia, no call. And here we go the other way. Valencia taken down, and they'll call it on Maurer. on Canton. Terry Campbell looking right at both of them. The same thing happened twice. He didn't call it once. He did call it the second time. Here's Kia. Kia pushes it ahead for Don Tobin. Tobin left side dumps it in the corner for Maurer. Maurer back to the net trying to get away from the double team and the ball's taken away by Rincon but it comes out to Kondrich on the point. He feeds Pisano. Pisano had Valencia step over. Oscar shoots hit the post on the right side. Kondrich after the rebound, he's tied up by Stevon, no call. And it squirts in the goal area where Matus dumps it into Zimmerman. Outlet to Lashoff, left side at midfield. Lashoff working on Kia, cuts it down to the Invader red line. And Maurer knocked it back, but it's taken away by Rincon. 
Rink on to Stevon. Ruben Stevon. Ball deflected by Kondrich. Here come the invaders on the attack. Don Tobin had to back away at midfield. Now pushes it on the right side to Kia. Kia through the midfield circle. Dishes back to Kondrich. Kondrich for Don Tobin. Tobin right side uh, between the Chicago red line and midfield stripe. Donnie's pass is blocked by Rincon and taken by Lashoff. Pisano back on D. Lashoff shot blocked by Pisano. Goes up over the glass and into the stage. And that'll be a corner kick for Chicago from the right side. Both teams will change lines with 7.01 to play in the first quarter. And we are still scoreless. Second quarter again is our contest quarter. If you'd like to be in on the next one from Fort Wayne, send us a postcard with your name, address, and phone number to Lucky Invader Fan, care of WHBC Radio. P.O. Box 9917, Canton, Ohio, 44711. Putting the ball in play is Rudy Glenn. And the shot wide to the right side off the foot of Neil Swindells. Now it's Comrie with it. Comrie working against team. A left side in the corner. Shot off the glass and wide to the left. The rebound comes loose. Kramer and Swindells fight for it there. It squirts down in the corner. Schlothauer will get there. Dumps it ahead. Ball hit the referee. And it squirts out front. And a sliding play. Comrie with a shot. Hit the post. And the rebound hit Glenn and went over the glass into the stage. Glenn came very close to scoring a goal without knowing it. That'll be a goal kick for Canton as the Invader bench breathes a collective sigh of relief. 6.39 to play in the first half. They came very close to getting a real lucky goal there. But as it is, it's a goal kick for Canton. Tima takes the outlet short on the right side. Timmy across the red line, off the right side boards for Pikasinski, lets it clear for Frick. Frick working in the corner, double team, Comrie deflects it, loose out front and cleared away by Glenn, but Tima will get it at midfield. Now it bounces past Timmy and he's got to chase it back to the red line, now at the edge of the goal area for Namoski. 6.18 to play in the first quarter, Tima. Ahead and the ball picked away by Glenn, Glenn for Comrie, here comes Chicago, three on three on the attack. Comrie at the left side. He shoots. Namoski comes out with a good save. Billy able to punch that ahead to Art Kramer. Kramer forward for Steve Frick. Frick can run like a deer across the red line for Kramer on the feet on the right side. Kramer trying to spin away from Wendell. Backs it up out front. Wendell with a deflection, but Kramer able to clear it to Tima at midfield. There's Rudy. He shoots just wide to the left side. Kramer in a race for the rebound. He's getting held. No call. And now they finally call it. That's the third foul on Chicago. And the Invaders will put it in play. Up front, Frick hit the post on the left side. And it's Kramer back out on the point. Now midfield in the center circle to Schlothauer. 535. Schlothauer's pass blocked by Comrie. And they try to push it ahead, but it's too far. And Namoski controls in the Invader end. Left side feed to Schlothauer. Walter ahead to Kramer. Kramer up against the left side boards. Now Frick. Frick. Being hounded there by Wendell, and Wendell comes out with the ball. Lost it, bad pass. Frick clears it back to Tima. Tima will wind and fire, and it's blocked by Comrie, and that one will go into the Invader bench and out of play with 5-11 to play in quarter number one. No score at the Civic Center. The Invaders and the Chicago Shockers tied up at nothing-nothing. Chicago won last night in Toledo, 8-7. The Invaders were beaten Wednesday night in Memphis by a score of 6-5. to five. Good crowd at the Civic Center. Probably around 35 to 3,700, something like that. Like to see an average 4,000 for the year. Tobin pushes it ahead. It hits Pisano. Push it for Tobin. It hits Toby in the back of the hill. Here comes Ruben Stevon. Stevon to Lashoff. Lashoff, not sure who he was passing that to as Valencia goes into the corner after Pisano. There's a shot by Valencia deflected out of play. That'll be a goal kick for Canton. I believe his own man, Stevon, got in the way of that. 4.56 to play in the first quarter. No score between the Canton Invaders and the Chicago Shockers. Nomoski to put the ball in play for Canton. Billy dumps it out to Pisano. Pisano with Valencia backing away, and he dumps it back to Nomoski in the goal area. And Billy will come out with it. Namoski with the ball on the floor. Lashoff comes up. He feeds right side to Pisano. Oscar working on Valencia. Now Maurer. Maurer had it knocked away by Rincon, but Maurer gets it back. Pisano trying to get Maurer. Got behind his man. The keeper is there. Maurer knocks it free, and it's sent through the box, but Stevon gets it for Chicago. Stevon ahead for Lashoff. Back to Stevon trying to get around Tobin, and Lashoff up the right side. Pisano back. There's a feed. Come right. What a shot. What a play by Namoski to slide and save it off the foot of Salvador Valencia. Kia trying to get the rebound out. And it's loose off the boards. Lashoff 
and Condridge fight for it. Tomo goes up for the header ahead to Maurer. Ball knocked away by Lashoff, taken by Rincon, and deflected by Condridge. Lashoff and Valencia just dumps it over the glass and out of play. But it was, def and they went a whistle before that, so Chicago will put it in play. A foul was called. That's the fourth foul on the Invaders in the period. They can only give one more, 4.03 to play. Lashoff shot blocked out front, blocked again, and Namoski goes down after the loose ball scored it in. And the outlet short on the right side to Pisano. Oscar out across the Invader red line, pushes it ahead for Maurer. Maurer working against Rincon on the right side in the corner. Maurer trying to come out with it, looking for a feed. Passes a little short for Pisano, and Stevan comes up with it for Chicago ahead to Valencia. Valencia into the Canton end up the left side. Pass was deflected by Condridge and taken away by Don Tobin. Ahead to Kia, left side at midfield. One touch back to Toby. Toby deflected by Lashoff. They both go down. Lashoff comes out with a ball deflected by Kia. Stevan will get it back at the red line. 324 to play in the first quarter. Stevan dishes back and it is Rincon ahead. And the pass for Valencia, nobody there. And Condridge tries to push it ahead to Kia. Pass around Stevan. He's hammered. No call, but well, you can get you can allow that because the invaders had uh, the advantage on the play. Although that was pretty flagrant. Stevan again holding. Again, no call. And Maurer has it at the red line, leaves it for Pisano. Oscar, he's going to take a shot, and he hit the post. Rebound comes out to Condridge. Condridge around one. Valencia with a nice steal. Nifty move by Salvador Valencia. 2.49 to play in the first quarter. Valencia through the midfield circle. Pisano with it. Now they cross with Condridge, and it's Lashoff with the ball. Deflected by Pikasinski, and Oscar comes up with it for Canton. Pisano ahead. Rudy trying to get behind him, man. Rincon with a deflection, but Rudy ends up with it anyway. Here comes Schlotthauer. He will fire. It's goal! And the Invaders take the lead, 1-0. Let's see if Rudy deflected that. Schlotthauer with a shot, and I am not sure whether Rudy got a piece of that ball or not. Time of the goal is 12-29. They give Sean Howard the goal and Rudy the assist. Okay. 12-29 of the first period. The Invaders lead 1-0, and Chicago dumps the kickoff out of bounds. For Schlotthauer, it's his third goal of the year. And for Pikasinski, his fourth assist. And the Invaders draw first blood. They lead 1-0. Invaders have scored first in all of their games except one, and that was the one Wednesday night in Memphis. Tima lost it out of play, and Chicago will put it in left side at their own red line. 2.14 to play in the first quarter. Canton one, Chicago nothing. Ball intercepted by Tima. Rudy trying to get behind him, man. The ball squirts loose, and Comrie comes up with it for Chicago, being hounded by Tima and Rudy. And the pass is picked away by Artie Kramer. Kramer ahead for Pikasinski to an open Steve Frick up the left side. Steve Frick tries to hit Wolf. Kramer had it knocked away. Tima in a race in the corner, and it gets away from both of them. And the interception by Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer cuts it up. Around one, Walter will... Leave it for Kramer on the left side. Artie had it knocked away there by Wendell. And Frick's got it on the left point. Minute 40 left in the quarter. Tima, Schlotthauer, middle of the floor. He fires. Good save out front by Zimmerman. Wolf clears. Didn't get much in the pass. Schlotthauer deflected it. And then Comrie flags it down at midfield for Chicago. Schlotthauer with him step for step. Pass intended for Glenn is knocked away. But taken back again by Chicago. Wendell took a dive, didn't get the call. He may have hurt himself on the dive. There's a shot, saved to Mosky, and he comes up with a rebound. Outlet to Kramer. Kramer up the right side, and they'll blow the whistle now for Wendell. Tima didn't like that. Normally, they will let them play when there's an injury if they're not in the way of the play. And if anything, the play was moving away from Wendell. But they'll attend to the injured Chicago player with 1.11 to play in the first period. The Invaders with a 1-0 lead, the Walt Schlotthauer goal, and the Rudy Pikasinski assist. Still attending to uh, George Wendell. He scored three goals uh, on the season, and he's up limping a little bit, but comes off under his own power. And 
I expect that he might be okay. Team fouls, four for Canton, three for Chicago with a minute 11 to play in the period. And again, the second quarter is our contest quarter tonight. Whoever's card we draw automatically gets the mug from United Bank, the coffee mug. We'll have a drop ball after that injury timeout. It'll be Kramer against Glenn, and Artie gets it ahead for Rudy. Rudy off the foot of Frick. Rudy right side at midfield, ahead for Kramer. Kramer trying to get inside a man, and it's deflected there, and Fricky gets it back out to Pekosinski. Pekosinski to Schlothauer. Water, oh, ball pass goes behind Steve Frick, and it's Alex Schindler coming up with the ball for Chicago ahead to Comrie, 50 seconds of the period. Comrie, ball knocked away at the Invader red line by Tima. Frick trying to clear, does. He's taken down from behind, and they get the call this time. The team fouls will be even at four apiece as Comrie gets called for tripping on Frick. Tima dishes it over to Kramer. Kramer to Steve Frick against the right sideboards inside the Chicago red line. Frick had the ball knocked away by Steven ahead to Comrie. Comrie, Frick trying to get away from behind. No, ball deflected by Schlothauer and taken by Tim Tima, 30 seconds in the period. Tima for Steve Frick. They'll have time for one more rush. Art Kramer, right side at the Invader red line, 22 seconds. Kramer launches it long. Oh, and he put it out of play over the glass. And that'll give it back to Chicago with 19 seconds to play in the period. 19 seconds. Invaders on the road next Thursday in Fort Wayne. At home next Friday against Louisville. And on the road next Sunday against Louisville. Thunder right now the best record in the league. They are 5-1. And, and Louisville, uh, well, they don't play tomorrow night. Tomorrow, Toledo and Fort Wayne, Milwaukee and Memphis. Zimmerman, the goalkeeper, long outlet. Valencia at the red line. Ball knocked away by Kondrich. Nine seconds in the period. Rincon passed, intercepted by Kondrich. Five seconds to Tobin. Three, two, one, and that's the end of the first quarter. With a score, the Canton Invaders won. The Chicago Shockers nothing. We'll be... Bob? Okay. Send your card to Lucky Invaders Fan, care of WHBC Radio, Box 9917, Canton, Ohio, 44711. Includes your name, address, and phone number. Invaders will put the ball in play to start the second quarter as Bob Bluenberger hopes they score a goal so he can come to a home game on us and have dinner at the Tavern in the Tower. He's already gets to drink his coffee for the rest of the winter out of the United Bank coffee mug. Don Tobin pushes it ahead in the left corner for Steve Maurer. Back to Tobin on the point at the red line. Midfield to Kondrich, ahead for Kia, back to the net. Tried to get it to Pisano, does now Kia. Kia dishes back, Don Tobin. He feeds in the corner. One touch, Maurer off to Kia, ball knocked away. And Steven comes up with it for Chicago. Ruben Steven on the dead run, up the left side, dumps it to Valencia. Valencia pushes it ahead to Lashoff. Lashoff left point, that's up uh, into the corner. And Kondrich able to head the ball away from Matus. Matus and Kondrich fight for Toby over to double team. And Tobin trying to clear it ahead, does for Kia. Kia dishes back to Oscar Pisano in the penalty area. Pisano sends it long for Kia, but it's too far, a three-line violation. Steve Paxos extends his ex apologies on behalf of the players, the league, and himself for having to turn away some of the loyal fans at the gate tonight. But uh, they will be able to accommodate you. They had some problems, computer problems, and uh, they said there was a break in here and they lost some equipment. And with the Ticketmaster system, the tickets have to be printed out that way. Chicago on the attack. Rincon, Kia stepped in front of the pass, steered it to Pisano. Pisano back out to Kia on the right side. And it is Don Tobin at the red line. 13.45 to play in the first half. Canton won, Chicago nothing. Pisano, red line, right side at midfield for Tobin. Everything will be cleared up next week on the tickets. So he should have this place jammed for Louisville. Kondrich. Right side, shot, no, and the wall pass for Kia was picked off by Zimmerman. Long lead for Valencia, ball knocked away by Pisano, ahead to Kondrich. Kondrich dumps it back, it's over the head of Oscar and back in the invader end. Line change in progress here. The Kramer line with a uh, couple of other people on. 
Right now, Artie's the only one that got out there on the switch. Now here comes Schlotthauer. Walter with it at the Invader red line. Dumps it back to Kramer. Frick's on the floor now. Now Kia trots off, and here comes Rudy. Art Kramer in the Invader in. Trying to get around Valencia. Artie beats him up the right side of the floor. He's unmarked. He shoots. It's blocked. As the man just came in at the last second, that was Matus. Long lead. Stevan racing the corner with it for Schlotthauer. Stevan turns. Schlotthauer fronts him on D. They dump it back out to Wolf. Wolf, couple of steps in on Rudy. Now backs it up to midfield. And with the ball there is Martin Rincon. Now Lashoff. Lashoff down the right side. He shoots. And Namofsky pins it up against the boards and hangs on. And Billy puts it on the floor for Tim Tima. 12-17 to play in the first half. Art Kramer left side at midfield against Rincon. Artie with a move around him, middle of the floor. Feeds it right side to Frick. Steve Frick back to Kramer. Kramer looking for Rudy in the corner. Rudy fighting with Wolf down there. And dumps it back out at midfield on the right side to Tim Tima. Tima, a couple of steps in for Rudy. Wolf tried to head that away. And now Tima's in a foot race with the Swindells for it. And Timmy gets there first and rolls it into the keeper, Namofsky. Pushes it ahead quickly to Steve Frick at midfield. Fricky working on Stevan. And taken down by Stevan. That should be two minutes. And it will not be. There'll be one foul. First foul of the period. Chicago is probably the most physical team in the league last year, and they're showing no signs of changing that. Schlotthauer with a shot deflected wide to the right side. And Frick in a foot race for it there. And they dump it back out to Tima. And Fricky has it deflected. It's up airborne, and Zimmerman goes up and catches it on the fly. Outlet ahead on the right side to Stevan for Chicago. Shockers will try to get it out of their own end now. It is David Wolf with it. And there's Frick with a steal. Frick sliding play to an open pick. Kaczynski, he shoots, he scores! Kaczynski will get his eighth goal of the year. Steve Frick will get the assist. The Invaders lead two to nothing. And Bob Lewenberger of Louisville, you keep our record perfect. Every contestant whose card we've pulled has won. Time of the goal is 3.40. And it is 2-0. Pekosinski from Frick. We'll do the contest again next Thursday night from Fort Wayne. Get your cards in the mail, please. And here's a steal by Schlotthauer. Head to Art Kramer off the kickoff. Kramer pushes it forward for Rudy. Rudy back to Walter. They're looking for another one. Walter to Tima. Tima on the right point. Couple of steps in. Right side it comes to Kramer. Kramer pass and Pekosinski just missed it wide to the left side. Steve Frick after the loose ball. And Frick able to get it away from Schindler there. Back at midfield to Schlotthauer. Comrie with a steal. Comrie up the right side unmarked. He shoots. Namofsky out of the net to make the save. Punches it ahead to Schlotthauer. 10.44 to play in the first half. Schlotthauer. Right, left side feed for Kramer. Kramer looking for the wall pass. Knocked away. Artie tries to deflect it again, but Wolf will come up with it for Chicago. Wolf pass up against the boards, intercepted by Schlotthauer. Invaders will set it up again. Schlotthauer on the right side to Tim Tima. Timmy. Backing it up now. They get a line change again. It's Kondrich at the Invader red line. Don Tobin off the bench. Tima steps in and Pisano steps out. And ahead it comes to Steve Maurer. Maurer back to the net against Wolf. Now a double team. Maurer able to clear it. Got it back to himself. Maurer turns, spin move out front. Kia back to the net in the arc. Kia trying to clear. Kia getting held. No call. And they drop it back over to Kondrich. Kondrich, red line, left side to Tobin. Now back at midfield to Pisano. Oscar in the invader end to Bill Namoski. And they will call a timeout with 9.52 to play in the first half. The invaders take time. 9.51. And we will take a 30-second break with a score, Canton 2, Chicago nothing. Invaders, after the timeout, will put the ball in play at their own end. 9.51 to play in the first half, and Canton leads 2 to nothing. Bill Namoski's had a good night in goal for the Invaders so far. He's, they haven't had a whole lot of opportunities that they've given up, but there have been a couple of good ones, and that's what the keeper's there for. When he's called upon, he has reacted. Long lead for Maurer, right side at the Chicago red line. Drops it back to Pisano. Pisano with uh, two shocker players around him, and Valencia dumps it ahead to Lashoff. Lashoff spins around Kia, but Pisano there to pick him up. Lashoff outside the red line, moving around Oscar. Couple of steps in, Maurer with a deflection, and Kondrich able to step in between Valencia and the ball, and they clear it to midfield. Kia 
Kia trying to get around a man and gets it to an open Maurer. Here they come on the break. Maurer had a ball knocked away by Stevon. Now has to chase it in the corner. That gave Chicago time to get back on D. Rincon with the interception. Maurer, and there's a push. And that time the Invaders got away with one. And now up the floor for Chicago. They feed it to an open Lashoff. Lashoff around Namoski. And he shoots in. Oh, what a play by Pizzano. Lashoff with a follow and a kick save by Namoski. Pizzano pinned it up against the post with his shoulder. Namoski had come out. They got a long lead. Kia couldn't get there. Zimmerman dumps it up off the glass and is taken back by Stevan. Up front, man. Shot score. Chicago with the goal, and I think it was Valencia, and I believe Stevan will get the assist. Valencia, his 11th goal of the season. And Stevan will get the assist. Time of the goal, 6.23. And the lead is cut to 2-1. to one. Valencia from Stevan. Stevan has six assists on the season now, and he's up near the league leaders in scoring with 11 points. And the Invaders will put the ball in play. Walt Schlonauer left side at midfield. Two to one, Canton. Art Kramer, pass around Comrie ahead to Pikasinski. Ball deflected, but Kramer gets it right back. Artie holds up and pushes it over in the right point area to Tima. Tima wants Rudy down in the corner. Rudy. Trying to get the ball knocked away, and Tima put it up in the stage. And it'll be a goal kick for Chicago. <laughs> Only one team foul has been called in this period so far. That was on Chicago. 8-17 to play in the second quarter, 2-1. to one. Each team has scored once in this period. We have not had a penalty yet in the game. Schlotthauer and Pikasinski for Canton. Valencia for Chicago. Zimmerman, long outlet. Comrie. Dumps it back, and coming up with it is Swindell. Swindells and Pikasinski, and the wall pass knocked away by Tima. Head to Kramer. Kramer being hounded there by Glenn, and Artie finds Schlotthauer open on the left side. Schlotthauer working on Swindells, and lost the ball to Swindells. Into Comrie. Comrie off the wall for Tima, and Schlotthauer to knock that wall pass away. And Walter clears for Frick at midfield. Frick back off the sideboards. And Schlotthauer sends it ahead for Kramer. Kramer left side at the Chicago red line. They attack three on three. Kramer winds, fires, rebound. Pikasinski hit the post quick on the rebound, and Zimmerman comes up with it. Long lead ball. It's past Schlotthauer, and Comrie will get it for Chicago. Comrie couldn't control, and Schlotthauer ends up with it for the invaders. I think Tima may have deflected that away from behind. And here is Namofsky, outlet short on the left side to Art Kramer. Schlotthauer at the Canton red line. Walter sends it forward for Pikasinski in the Chicago end. Pikasinski tried to dump it in in the centering pass. Well, Pikasinski was fouled as he tried to knock it away. That's the second foul on Chicago as they got Wendell for pushing. 7.08 to play. Corner kick from the right side. Kramer to put it in play to Tima. Tima tried to get it back to Kramer, and the centering pass for Tima was knocked away. Here comes Comrie the other way. Schlotthauer back on D ahead to Swindells, and Schlotthauer intercepts the pass, and Tima dumps it into Namofsky. Billy rolls the outlet short on the right side to Tim Tima. Ahead, midfield, too far for Kramer. Wendell comes up with it. Now it's Valencia for Chicago, picked up by Tima at the red line. Valencia moving left to right. He'll take it down into the corner. Valencia. Tima sliding play, knocks it ahead to Steve Frick. Valencia pushes from behind and no call. He shoots, it's wide and over the glass and out of play. But I think it was deflected. And it was, it'll be a corner kick. Tima screaming about that and I don't blame it. 6.37 to play. Corner kick for Chicago from the left side. The Invaders change lines. So does Chicago. They, they complete their line change, actually. They had about half of it done when the ball went out of play. 6.37 in the first half. Canton 2, Chicago 1. Lash off to put the ball in play. The referee ran out of the way and tripped over the ball. Now it's back. Lash off. Rincon shot. Now Mosky punches it up over the glass and out of play. And it'll be another corner kick from the left side. 6.35 to play in period 2. Lash off to put it in play again. Lash off, loose out front, and Pisano clears. They try to head it back, and Pisano dumps it out to midfield again. Matus 
flagging it down there. Kia hounded him. Matus has to back up. Maurer there for the double team. Knocks it off the boards for Kia. Kia clears to Tobin. Tobin sends it high. Zimmerman. Maurer heads it up in the air. And Zimmerman just did get in front of that and flag it down. And here is Kondrich. Kondrich and Lashoff fight for it. Now Valencia. Valencia cut off on the boards. Gets it back to Lashoff on the give and go. He shoots in another save by Namovsky. And Pisano able to dump it in. Lashoff hammers Namovsky. That's two minutes. And we got a fight. Lashoff and Namovsky getting into it out front. That was a cheap shot that Lashoff threw at Billy. I don't blame Billy for being upset, but let's hope that Billy didn't get himself a penalty in the process. Lashoff is going to get two for sure. And Timo, the captain this year, over to talk to Terry Campbell. And let's see what they finally decide. Tina indicating they may have thrown Lashoff out of the game. I don't know. Yep, Lashoff is gone. The red card given to Lashoff. He is gone. Now, Campbell has a yellow in his hand, too. I don't know if Billy got a yellow or not. He may have just held the yellow out to give it to Lashoff. 6.04 to play. The times of these penalties are going to be 8.56. First ones of the game. Namovsky had held the ball and was about to let it go, and Lashoff just came in and cut his legs right out from under him. It was one of the dirtier plays that I've seen this year, or, in fact, in three years of, this, of uh, doing the league. Now, let's see. Did Billy get one, too? Because Jamie Swanner is off the bench. They may, are they both ejected? Both of them thrown out of the game. So Jamie Swanner being warmed up over there by Trevor Dawkins, and Swanner's going to have to come in as Namofsky and Lashoff apparently will both get red cards. Okay, they're going to give two minutes on Lashoff and two red cards. So Lashoff will get two on the trip. And he'll also get five for the red card. And Namofsky will get five for the red card. Yeah, they both get five. They're five on both teams. And that puts Jamie Swanner in the invader goal. Times of those are 8.56 on all of them. And those are the first red cards of the season in the league, I believe. So Lashoff is gone and Namofsky is gone. Lashoff will get an extra two minutes because he committed the penalty ahead of that. So the Invaders, who have scored on five straight power plays, will get the man advantage. Chicago, seven goals allowed in 16 shorthanded situations this year. 56% penalty killing. Canton, 70% on the year on the power play, seven of 10. Namofsky leaves. Having given up one goal, Jamie Swanner comes in with a record of 2-1 and one and a 4.37 goals against average. And Swanner comes in with 6.04 to play in the second quarter. Namofsky and Lashoff have both been ejected. I don't blame Billy for being upset because Lashoff really took a filthy cut at him. But unfortunately... When you go after somebody like that, you give yourself the possibility of getting uh, in trouble, and that's what happened to Billy. Lashoff gets the red card, too. Rudy Glenn complaining for Chicago, and I really don't know what for. Should be a power play. Five 
section for number one, Bill Lamont. The Invaders should be on a power play here. Well, you know what the fans think about it. It should be a power play for Canton for two minutes. 8.56, the time of the penalties. This has taken almost as long to straighten out as the broken door last week. <laughs> a quick look at the scoreboard, Bob, where McKinley has defeated Wadsworth 73-48 at our second... Okay, they will play four on four for five minutes. Then the Invaders will get the two-minute power play. Which means they'll cut the penalty in half because they'll only get about a minute four of power play in this quarter. It's four on four right now. And frankly, I got to think four on four tends to favor Canton a little bit too here. 5.52 to play as the ball is in play now. Jamie Swanner in goal for Canton now. Swanner. Pushes it ahead on the left side to Schlotthauer and back to Swanner. Swanner, almost playing like a sixth attacker, dumps it long into the left corner for Pikasinski. Rudy back to the net. Rincon with a deflection, but Rudy gets it back over to Kia. Kia to an open. Tima. Tima to Rudy. Scores! the goal 931 Rudy Pikasinski's second goal of the night his ninth of the year Tim Tima gets his first point of the season on the assist the invaders lead three to one there are still 425 left in the red card penalties and then they would mark the two minutes up when those expire and with a four on I, again I really believe in four on four the advantage lies with Canton they could pile up a couple here even before they get the power play, that is an even-handed goal since they were even, uh, since they had the same number of guys on the field. David Wolf with the ball for Chicago. Schlotthauer with a deflection ahead it comes, and now, now they call uh, a foul on uh, Chicago as they got uh, Glenn for holding. That's the third foul on the Shockers in the period. Comrie with the ball at midfield though for Chicago, ahead to Glenn, trying to get it to Comrie on the give and go. Tima intercepts and pushes it ahead for Kia. Kia and Rudy clear up the floor. Kia dumps it long. Zimmerman will step out of the net. He has it on the floor. Knocked it off the boards. Right to Kia. Kia looking for Rudy. Sliding play. Knocked loose. And it's cleared out of there <laughs> by Swindells. Back to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer pass for Kia is knocked away by Glenn. Ahead to Comrie. Comrie at the Canton red line working against Tima. Comrie tried to push it ahead for Glenn and it was taken away by Swanner. Outlet short on the left side to Tim Tima. Tima. Ahead for Schlotthauer. 4.37 left in the period. Now three and a half minutes left in the five-minute penalties. And when those end, there'll be a two-minute power play for Kent. Pisano dumps it back to Jamie Swanner. Swanner ahead for Maurer. Maurer trying to get around Wolf. Does up the right side of the floor. Now Wolf getting back. Maurer dumps it in and deflected. Well, after the rebound, Condridge shoots. Blocked out front. Maurer got it back again and uh, knocked away. And controlled by Chicago, but stolen away from behind. Swindells didn't see Frick coming, and Fricky picked him clean. The other end, Swanner ahead for Condrich. Four minutes in the half and 2.56 in the double five-minute penalties. It is Maurer in the Chicago end, back to the net on the right side. Maurer coming out front with it now, midfield to Oscar Pisano. Pisano looking in on Comrai to Steve Frick. Frick back out to Condrich. Tomo sends it forward for Frick. Frick and Maurer working close to that. Condridge and Pisano back on D. Wall pass. Maurer had it deflected. And Wolf had a hard time getting that ball away. And as a result, Condridge is able to nip it away from Comrade. 
And Pisano sends it forward for Maurer. Maurer shoots and hits the post on their left side. Followed by Condridge block. Rebound. Maurer hit the crossbar. Rebound again, though. Maurer shoots it back. Pisano will fire. And a good save by Zimmerman coming out to get a hand on that. Outlet Comrie at midfield. Knocked away by Condridge. Taken by Pisano. 3-10 left in the first half. 2.06 in the double penalties. Condridge right side to, and rather Pisano right side to Condridge. Tomo backs it up to Frick. Minute 55 before the invaders go on the man advantage. Pisano stepping inside on Glenn up the right side. Glenn will get whistled for the fourth foul on Chicago as he takes uh, Oscar into the boards. They're both still down. Invaders will kick it in from the right corner. Glenn getting up slowly and he was on top of Pisano and now Oscar's able to get up. What's the, what's the deal on the penalties? There can be no more than five minutes in the penalty. They took away the two minutes. Uh, they took away the two minute on Lashoff. There can be no more than five minutes in the penalty. So in other words, Lashoff gets away with a cheap shot. Okay. So there will, not, there will not be a power play. For Canton is what our understanding is. Lashoff gets charged with seven minutes, but they only have to serve five of them. Minute 45 left in the double penalties and 2.49 to play in the half. It's a shame that you almost reward Lashoff for the, for the dirty play in that situation. But again, that em emphasizes the importance of keeping your cool when somebody does that to you. Valencia with it at the Canton red line. Valencia a couple of steps in on Pisano. And Oscar stays with him. Key of the double team loose out front. Frick deflects the loose ball into the waiting hands of Jamie Swanner. Outlet short on the left side to Condrich. Two and a half minutes left in the half. A minute 26 in the five-minute penalties. Condrich. Back it comes to Pisano. Pisano pushes it ahead now for Steve Frick. Frick pushes it forward to an unmarked Condrich up the left side. Tomo fires, and it's high and out of play. Goal kick Chicago. 1-11 in the double five-minuters and 2.15 to play in the first half. Canton leads 3-1. It has been a wild game. It's sort of reminiscent of one game we had against Chicago last year when Tima came out for the second half wearing combat fatigues. If you missed it, McKinley 73, Wadsworth 48 in the first game at the Fieldhouse. Zimmerman long outlet er, and uh, Valencia couldn't get it at midfield. Neither could Pisano and Swanner clears it ahead for Condridge. Tomo ahead for Kia. Kia tried to one touch it to Frick and it was behind him. Fricky had to go back after it behind the uh, Red line, now it's midfield to uh, Pisano, ahead to Frick. Frick out of a crowd, dishes it back to Condridge. And now it is Kia, 40 seconds left in the double penalties in the four-on-four -four situation. Pisano across the red line. Pisano round one, around two, and the ball deflected away from behind by Valencia. Zimmerman dumps it out to midfield. Condridge chases it down there. And Tomo working against Valencia, punches it ahead to Kia, 23 seconds in the two penalties. Kia. Around one, up the right side. And he shoots and just missed the post on the left side. And Fricky's out after the rebound, 11 seconds. Frick around one, he shoots and scores! <laughs> Steve Frick puts the Invaders up four to one. Time of the goal, 13-47. Frick will get the goal. And I think Kia will get the assist, or Kia or Tima. Kia does get the assist. Frick's second goal of the year, and for Kia, his third assist of the season. The Invaders lead 4-1. Four, four seconds left in the double penalties as Swanner dumps it ahead. There's a steal by Comrie, and a centering pass for Flynn is knocked away. Good play by Schlothauer. Now they dump it on. Glenn with a shot, and Namoski, or rather Swanner, comes up with a save. Namoski no longer in the game. Jamie with a save, and it is uh, Kramer at midfield. 50 seconds to play in the first half. Magic Celestin in for the first time tonight. And the ball knocked away. Chicago will attack three on two. Shot wide, and Tima steps inside to get the rebound. 38 seconds to play. And ahead to Magic Celestin. Celestin, midfield circle, the magic man, playing with that separated shoulder, ahead to Kramer. Kramer around one, and the ball knocked out of play by David Wolf with 28 seconds to play 
in the first half, and the Invaders will put it in play. And Celestin didn't have it quite on the right spot. And now we will put it uh, in the correct spot and put it in play. Celestin back to Tima. Tima, shot, and Zimmerman was screened by three guys and still able to find the ball through that mess of trees and gets it ahead up the left side of the floor to Swindells. Swindells with Celestin, takes it down into the right corner, 14 seconds and a half. Swindells dumps it in the goal area. Glenn couldn't get to it. Swanner scoops it up there. Eight seconds to play in the half. Celestin at the Invader red line has it knocked back. Five seconds, four, three. That'll be the end of the half. 2-1. And the Invaders content to go into the locker room with a 4-1 lead. At the end of two periods, Canton 4 and Chicago 1. We come back in a minute. four soccer that followed those penalties. The Invaders got two goals. One by Pikasinski and one by Frick. And we are just about ready to get things underway here in the second half. It'll be Comrie, Swindells, Wendell, Glenn, and Wolf on the floor for Chicago. Kia, Kramer, Tobin, Pisano and Kondrich, that's a new line on the floor for Canton. Kramer back at a forward spot. There's a shot, no. Comrie after the rebound, no. And Comrie tried to shoot it around Pisano. Oster got enough of it that allowed Kia to pick up the loose ball. And they drop it back in the goal area to Swanner. Jamie will pick it up. Looking long, and now he'll put the ball back on the floor and come out with it himself. Jamie launches an airborne red line, headed back by Wolf, but Kondrich heads it back toward midfield. And Kramer controls there for the Invaders. Back in the Canton end in the goal area to Swanner. Outlet short on the left side to Condridge. Tomo dumps it forward for Don Tobin at midfield. Toby couldn't control. Glenn tries to clear. It goes around Condridge. Comrie and Pisano race in the corner. And they both go down. And the foul goes against Comrie, the first of the period on Chicago. And the push foul will put the Invaders in possession. Pisano sends it over to Condridge. Tomo working against Swindells. Back to Pisano in the penalty area, and he leaves it for Swanner. Outlet ahead to Kramer. Kramer trying to get around his man in the Chicago end. Wall pass in front for Kia. Wolf deflects it, and Glenn goes after it in the corner. Glenn and Kia fight for it there. They dump it back in the goal area for Zimmerman, and he shovels it out to uh, the midfield on the left side. Now it's Wolf. Right-sided midfield to Stevon. Stevon off the boards, hit the glass, back to Stevon, but that's out of play, and it'll go to Canton. With 13.39 to play in the third quarter, and the Invaders lead 4 to 1. 94 FM, WHBC FM, Canton, Ohio. Radio home for Invaders soccer. Walt Schlotthauer will put the ball in play for the Invaders. Left side at midfield. Magic Celestin is in. That's why they've got Tobin playing midfield on the line with. Kramer at forward with Magic coming in. That allows Artie to go back to his regular forward position. Apolinar Briones is into the game for Chicago. I've been practicing pronouncing that one the better part of the week. It's Valencia with a shot and Swanner with a save up against the right post. Outlet right side. Valencia sliding play to knock it away from Celestin. But Valencia will draw the trip call and that's the second foul on Chicago in the period. Team fouls are now it's 2-1 in favor, 2-0 uh, the fouls. Chicago 2, Canton none. They had marked one up Canton on the scoreboard. That was not correct. Fricky trying to get behind a man. Does ball deflected into the boards. Frick trying to get inside. Briones does looking for Rudy. And Zimmerman stepped in front of the pass and scooped it in. 
Outlet ahead, but Frick on the run. Briones sends it ahead, knocked away and taken by Schlotthauer. Briones fights with him. Schlotthauer off the boards, gets it ahead. Walter around Valencia, head to Celeste and the Magic Man. Gets a guy on the floor. Magic, he shoots. Zimmerman, scissors save. Good play by Paul Zimmerman in the Chicago net. And the outlet comes up on the left side. And coming up the floor is Louis Matus. Headed back by Steve Frick. Matus and Celeste in left side at midfield. And they'll dish back to Stevan. Ruben Stevan picked up by Frick at the Chicago red line. Dish it back to Martin Rincon. 12.25 to play. There's an interception by Celeste. And ahead to Rudy. They attack three on three. Rudy got around his man Rincon up the side. Rudy trying to feed Frick. And the ball was picked away by Stevan. Dumps it into the goalkeeper Zimmerman. Outlet right side at the red line to Rincon. Rincon, ball knocked away by Tim Tima. Off the boards, Frick dumps it in the midfield circle to Celestin. Celestin across the Chicago red line for Rudy. Rudy, who was getting held by Matus, gets away, drops it back to Celestin. Celestin to Steve Frick. And Frick, Magic was going to the bench, didn't see the pass, and Valencia ended up with it for Chicago. Valencia across the red line. Steve on and Briones clear out front. Now it's Matus on the right point. His shot, no wall pass. Briones shoots, and it's wide to the left. I don't know, Jamie may have gotten a hand on that. Steve on with it in the left corner, trying to get inside Frick. And Steve on turns, spins back to the net. Forced out front. Steve on out front. Matus shot blocked by Celestin. Off the boards, wall pass, and the ball deflected by Schlotthauer, and he clears it ahead to Rudy. Here come the invaders, three on one. Rudy tries to get it ahead to Frick. Frick in a race with Rincon in the corner. And Rincon able to get there first, dumps it in the goal area for Zimmerman. Outlet short to Matus on the right side. 11-10 to play in the third quarter. Valencia ahead to Stevan. Stevan had the ball deflected by Tobin. Tobin and Valencia fight for it. Oh, and Toby will get whistled for the push, and that's the first foul on the Invaders in the third period. And uh, Toby, if he's going to get called, he might as well get a good lick in, and Toby did. 10.59 to play. In the quarter, Matus sends it in, looking for Valencia. Valencia for Stevan. Stevan and Tobin fighting for it out in front of the arc. Stevan shot. Swanner punches it out. Tima heads it forward. Timmy keeps it at his feet. Spins away from one man. Gets away from the backside pursuit. And Timmy will bring it up the floor himself. Timmy ahead for Pekosinski. Zimmerman knocks it away right into the knees of Rudy. Rudy shoots, hits the post. Nobody home for the rebound. Coming up with it is Briones for Chicago. Bad pass taken away by Pisano. Pisano right side at midfield. Line change. Oscar in with Kia to his right and Kramer to his left. He feeds Kia. Kia shoots, looking for Kramer. Loose out front. The rebound knocked away. Comrie's got it at midfield. Comrie and Condridge. Fight for it. And Condridge spins around, comes away from it on the boards. Condridge to an open. Kramer pass hit him in the heel. And Artie trying to fight with Comrie for it. Kia over for the double team. And Kramer will dump it back right side at midfield to Condridge. Tomo in on Comrie. Comrie with a deflection. Tomo got it back. Sliding play by Rincon to knock it away. Here comes Wolf up the right side of the field. Two on one. They've got the open man. Comrie right side. Swanner cuts down the angle, but Comrie shoots and scores. And Chicago has their second goal. Time of the goal is 5.07. Of the third period for Elvis Comrie, it's his fourth goal of the season. To cut the lead to 4-2. to two. And the assist goes to David Wolf. That's his first point of the season. 4-2, to two, Canton with the lead. And the Invaders with it in midfield. Don Tobin, left side, pushes it ahead for Art Kramer. Kramer back to the net in the right corner against Wolf. Dishes back Condridge, trying to get around Comrie. Condridge ahead for Kramer. Artie and Wolf fight forward in the right corner. Artie turning back to the net, off the boards, back out in the right point to Tomo. Now in the midfield circle to Pisano. He crosses with the Condridge, now Tobin, and now Tomo, midfield. And Kramer dumps it over to an open Pisano. Pisano shoots, and Zimmerman comes out with a honey as a save. Pisano after the rebound, taken down by Comrie. And there's no call. And Comrie comes the other way with it. Comrie through the midfield circle for Chicago. Back with Pisano. Comrie shoots. Pisano blocks it, hits the top of the glass, lands at the feet of Art Kramer. Comrie takes him down, and there's the trip, and they're going to give him two. He got away with one at the other end. He didn't get away with that one. Rick Hanna comes out with a two-minute card. And the Invaders will go on the power play. This will be the first power play for either team on the night. Canton has scored on five straight man advantage situations. Time of this penalty will be 5.54 the quarter. Comrie will go off two minutes for tripping. 
And the Invaders go to the man advantage for the first time tonight. Nine oh six to play in the third quarter. Canton four, Chicago two. And here is Don Tobin through the midfield circle. Right side to Oscar Pisano and back to Tobin. Tobin for Pikasinski. Back to Oscar on the right point. Now Tobin, a minute 47 left in the penalty. Tobin pushes it ahead for Schlotthauer on the left side. And back it comes to Tobin. Tobin to Kia. Right side to Pisano. Now Tobin. He's got a feed. Kia, oh, just missed it right through the goal crease. Pikasinski got the rebound in the corner. Back to Tobin. Minute 28 in the power play. Kia back to the net, shovels it over, Schlotthauer, he winds, he fires, it's wide to the left side. Pisano backing it away from Wolf, and midfield to Tobin. Tobin, red line, ahead to Rudy, back to Oscar in the right point, minute 14 in the penalty. Now Tobin, right up the middle of the floor. Toby, oh, bad pass, Kia went the other way, here comes Chicago, three on two, it's Kamrai, left side to Wolf. Wolf, back to Kamrai, or back to Rincon, rather. Rincon shoots and scores! Short-handed goal for Chicago to cut it to one at 4-3. Rincon will get the short-handed goal for the Shockers. Invaders still have 59 seconds of the power play left. Wolf gets his second assist, and the time of that goal comes at 6.55. And all of a sudden... Chicago is back to within one. It's only 4-3 Canton. It was set up on the, poor, on the poor connection between Tobin and Kia. Toby thought Kia was going to post up out front, and Kia broke to his right. When that happened, Tobin knocked a pass right into the feet of a Chicago player. Still on the power play. Pisano taken down on the trip by Valencia. And now they get it over to Tobin. 48 seconds left for the penalty. Schlotthauer knocks it out with a glass and out of play. Goal kick Chicago. Three team fouls on Chicago, one on Canton in the period. 7.51 to play. Canton four, Chicago three. All of a sudden, the invaders find themselves in a tussle when it looked like they were going to put this away early, but not so right now. Zimmerman with a goal kick, and he just gets it back off the foot of Matus. Ahead they get it to Valencia. Valencia and Pisano fight for it. Kia the double team. Kia shovels it ahead to Rudy. Rudy drops it back to Tobin. 34 seconds left in the power play. Toby touches it back edge of the midfield circle to Schlotthauer. Now on the right side to Pisano. 27 seconds in the penalty. Tobin middle of the floor at the red line. Left side to Walter. One touch back to Toby. Toby a couple of steps in. Feeds on the right side. 18 seconds. Now Toby moves closer. Left side Schlotthauer. Back to Tobin. 12 seconds. Pisano fires. It's blocked out front. And Matus with a block. Valencia tries to clear. And it's over the glass and out of play with seven seconds left in the penalty. And the Invaders will have an opportunity from the corner. Pisano. Tobin fires wide. Kia with a follow. And it lands at the foot of Valencia. And that's the end of the penalty. So Chicago not only kills off the Invader power play, they get a shorthanded goal to boot. And they cut the lead down to four to three. Shockers have not played a home game yet. This is their sixth straight road game to start the season. They don't play at home until next week. And they've gone three and two in the early part of the season all on the road. That bodes well for what happens to them when they get back at home. Magic Celestin with the ball at midfield for Canton. 6.41 to play in the third quarter. Pikasinski and Matus in a race. Rudy got their shot just wide to the left side. Frick after the rebound, fighting with Brionis. And Frick clears it out to Schlotthauer, left side. Schlotthauer dumps it over to Tima. Tima sends it airborne for Frick in the corner. Fricky trying to get around a man. No, got it back. Frick taken down out front. No call. Gets it back out to Schlotthauer on the right side to Tima and back to Celestin at midfield. 6.18 to play in the third period. The Magic Man directing traffic. Looking for Rudy in the right corner. Pikasinski back to the net. Tried to wall pass. Headed away by Rincon. Stevan trying to clear. Rudy trying to get it back to Tima. Tima had it deflected by Valencia. Stevan gets it ahead to Chava. Valencia up the floor. Brionis and Schlotthauer in a race, and Schlotthauer will spin between a man, but it's cleared out front. Valencia shoots, and it's deflected by Celestin. Headshot, Brionis scores! The game is tied! Brionis, his second goal of the year, 
and Chicago has scored three unanswered goals to tie at the time of that goal, 9-0-9. And the wheels are starting to come off for the invaders here in the third period. And Valencia will pick up the assist, his second of the season. And it's 4-4, tie game. Chicago, three straight goals in the third quarter. Swanner gets into the kickoff, outlet to Tima. Tima up the right side, passes behind Celestin. Magic able to come back and get it, took it away from Swindells. Celestin had the ball knocked away by Comrie, but Magic got it back again. Now it's the Schlotthauer, left side at midfield. And the Invaders trying to regroup and get something uh, going here. They have given up three straight goals and seen this thing tied up at 4-4. Schlotthauer, right side to Tima. Tima to Frick, left side at the Chicago red line. Frick working on Wolf. Now back it comes to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer on Swindells. Now Frick, left side at the red line. Frick tried the spin move, got cut off on the boards, and Fricky's got to retreat back into the Canton Inn. Steve Frick, left side, now pushes it ahead on the right side to Schlotthauer. 4.57 to play in the period. Pass at midfield, taken away by Glenn. Here comes Comrie. Comrie through the midfield circle. Comrie, left side, shoots just wide. Rebound, knocked up into the stage by Swindells. And it'll be a goal kick Canton with 4.48 to play. We're in the third quarter. The game is tied 4-4. Canton led 4-1 at the half, and Chicago's gotten three in a row. One by Comrie, one by Rincon, and one by Briones. Valencia had a goal in the first half. The Canton goals, two by Pikasinski, one by Schlonhauer, one by Frick. 4-4, tie game. Here is Oscar Pisano out across the red line, midfield to Kramer, back to Kondrich. Tomo's got to chase it down in the invader end. Now off the head of Pisano to Kramer, right side at midfield, back to Oscar. Oscar puts it airborne for Kia. Kia leaves it for Kramer. Kramer, middle of the floor, tried to knock it in. Stevan batted that away, and Kia got it back in a sliding play by Valencia to knock it away from Kia. Valencia and Tobin fight for it up against the sideboards. Kia the double team. Tobin will get whistled for the second foul on Canton. Three in the period on Chicago. Nobody in serious danger of six fouls with 4.17 left in the period. Matus ahead, right side at midfield to Valencia. Chava across the Invader red line. Valencia around one. He shoots, and it's deflected out front. And Swanner just did get it. They call it a handball on Briones anyway. And Swanner rolls the outlet to Kramer. That's four fouls on Chicago now. Kramer to Pisano. Pisano right side at midfield. Off the right side boards for Artie. Artie in the corner. One of the wall pass for Kia, but Zimmerman stepped in front and gathered it in. Zimmerman outlet comes ahead to, to uh, Stevan. Stevan sliding play by Pisano to take that one away. And here come the invaders three on two. Pisano, Kia to the left side. Kia cut off on the play by Rincon. Back to Oscar. Oscar down in the corner getting around Stevan. Taken down. The ball hits Oscar back in the feet. Oscar double team trying to get it away. And they clear it in the goal area for Zimmerman. Out to Briones. Briones right side at midfield. Across the invader red line, working on Tobin. Briones moves around, stops, he shoots. It's deflected by Tobin, and then Briones knocked the rebound up into the stage. Goal kick, Canton. 3.22 to play in the third period. Invader offense trying to get something in gear here in this quarter. They've been outscored 3 to nothing. And one of them was a short-handed goal. 4-4 is our score. We're in the third quarter, 322 left. Swanner rolls the outlet to Tim Tima, right side of the field. Comrie picks him up at the red line. Tima will back it up to Jamie Swanner. Swanner will come out of the box with it through the arc. And across the red line, Swanner launches it for Frick, but it's headed away by Wolf. Tima gets it back at midfield on the right side. Tima sends it ahead. Now on the left side for Frick. Frick back to the net against Wolf. Off the sideboards for Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer, ball deflected once, twice, and they get it back to Magic Celestin. Celestin looking for Rudy. Zimmerman just deflected that ball over the uh, glass. I think if Zimmerman doesn't touch that, it would have probably been a goal kick, but now it'll be a corner kick for Kent. <laughs> Celestin will put the ball in play from the spot on the right side. 2.50 to play in the period. Celestin for Tima. Tima through the box. The pass is behind Rudy. Taken away by Wendell. And Frick hounded him, and Wendell knocks it over the glass and out of play up into section 14. 
Ken will kick it in with 2.42 to play in the period, and the game is tied at 4-4. You can just see looking at that Chicago bench that they've got some new life down there. I got a feel that if the Invaders had scored first in this half, Chicago would have probably rolled over and died, but now the Shockers are alive and kicking. 2.42 to play in the third quarter, and we're knotted up at 4-4. Walt Schlotthauer in the midfield circle for the Invaders. Airborne in the corner, Rudy and Matus in a race there. And Matus gets whistled for the fifth foul on Chicago. Tima puts it in play. The pass is picked away by Rincon. One more foul by Chicago, and the Invaders go on the power play. Briones up the right side of the floor with Schlotthauer. Briones stops, looking for a feed. Pushes it over to Matus on the left point. Matus against Tima there. Tima confronts him on the boards. Matus backs up, and Tima gets whistled for the trip. And that's the third foul on the Invaders in the period. Now it's Stevon. Stevon. Tima cuts him off. Stevon shot deflected. And it's loose in the side. Rincon gets it back for Chicago. Rincon, a couple of steps in on Schlothauer. Dumps it in the corner for Stevon. Bad pass taken away by Pikasinski. Rudy up the right side of the floor. Two minutes in the period. Rudy's got Frick with him and Celestin trailing. He dumps it back to Magic. Briones got a piece of that. Magic chases it down right side at the midfield stripe. Magic blows right around Briones. Feeds Schlothauer. He's got a shot. Rebound out front. It comes behind Celestin. Magic has to flag it down outside. Left point to Schlothauer. Minute 41 in the period. The Magic Man backing it up under hot pursuit from Rudy Glenn. And they'll set up from their own end. A minute 33 left. Over to Swanner. Swanner pushes it ahead for Tima. Tima back to Jamie. And Swanner. Left side at midfield for Schlothauer. Schlothauer lets Comrie clear by. Minute 19. Let's see if the Invaders will try to draw that sixth foul now. Swanner will come out with it across the red line. Swanner sending it ahead for Tobin. Tobin left side of the Chicago end. Toby back to the net trying to get inside. He goes down. Scissors and they call it on Tobin. Fourth foul on the Invaders. Zimmerman with a long lead and it's a three line violation. Take it back to the Chicago red line with 57 seconds left. And the Invaders will put it in play from there. Game is tied at 4-4. If they don't get a goal here, this would be the first quarter in the whole season that Canton has not scored in. They came real close in the first quarter Wednesday, scoring with one second left in it. Tima down along the boards, getting it into Rudy. They want to draw that sixth foul. Rudy trying to center, taken down, and it comes out to Comrie. Comrie, Rudy trying to get away from him from behind. Comrie up the floor, sliding play. Comrie still with the ball, 40 seconds. He shoots, Warner knocks it away from the post. Rudy dumps it in, Jamie. Corrals it there, outlet to Schlotthauer. 33 seconds to go in the period. Schlotthauer across the red line, pushes it for uh, Frick. Stevie, left side, double teamed in the corner. 23 seconds, Steve Frick trying to get inside. And there's the six. No, they call it the other way. They call it on Frick, so the foul's even at five apiece. 18 seconds left. And with Zimmerman holding the ball in the Chicago end, it looks like we're going to go third, fourth quarter tied. Zimmerman almost had it taken away by Frick. And they bounce it off the board, seven seconds. Tima gets it back to Kramer. Kramer down the left side, three seconds. Kramer knocked down, that's the end of the quarter. With the score, Chicago four and Canton four. We'll be back in one minute. For Canton with Pisano and Kondrich on defense. Comrie, Swindells, Glenn, Wendell, and Wolf for Chicago. And the kickoff knocked away by Wendell. Now Swindell. Swindell's middle of the floor, shoots wide, got his own rebound, and Swatter comes up with a honey of a save. Diving to his right side. And the outlet short on the right side now to Oscar Pisano. Pisano. Back to Kondrich. Now Oscar, Canton's newest pizza baron, sends it ahead to Kramer. Kramer back to Oscar. Oscar ahead to Don Tobin. Tobin for Kia. Kia had it knocked away by Comrie. 
But Kia steers it away from him and back to Tobin. Pozzano. Midfield ahead to Donnie. Tobin. Left side to Kramer. Tobin give and go in the corner. Wall pass. Kia knocked away by Wolf. Headed out of there by Chicago. Conry in a race. He plows into Pisano. Neither one of them are particularly happy with that. Comrie wanted obstruction. Pisano wanted to push. The ref said, fine, we'll make you both mad and won't call either one. Kramer with a shot, no. Rebound headed away from Kia by Wolf. Comrie's got it at the red line. Kia knocks it away from him to Kramer. Kramer shovels it over to Condridge, and the Invaders back on the attack. Condridge feeds Kramer. Kramer got behind. Wolf, he shoots, he scores! <laughs> Kramer from Condridge. Time of the goal, 1-16, and the Invaders go back on top, 5-4. To Art Kramer picks up his fourth goal of the year. Gondrich gets his third assist, and the Invaders back up on top now, 5-4. To Time of the goal, 1-16 of the fourth period. Artie just beat Wolf up the right side, and Tomo found him with a nice pass. Tomo gave him a good ball, and Artie drilled it into the left side of the net past the outstretched Zimmerman. Stevon drops it back to Zimmerman. Chicago trying to regroup now as the Invaders have found their scoring touch again. Here is Zimmerman. Long lead ball headed back by Celestin, taken back by Matus, but he knocked it back to Magic. Rudy heels it over to Steve Frick. Frick dishes back for Tima. Tima had it taken away by Comrie, but Timmy got it back. Keeping his feet in the ball on the floor, ahead to Frick. Frick and Rudy, two on one. Frick, Rudy, Valencia, Rudy, he shoots. Zimmerman had no idea where that ball was. He almost hatched it, and now he's able to find it. And they send it ahead, Briones. Briones trying to get around Stevon. Swanner out of the net to knock that away. And it's taken back on the point by Wendell. Wendell leaves it, well, he takes it back, now pushes it over to Valencia. Valencia shoots, and it's knocked away by Schlothauer. And we got a whistle and a foul. And, uh-oh, better watch it, Jamie. Stevon is going to get two minutes. Swanner coming out. Stevon kicked the ball at Swanner after the play was over, but we've already had one goalkeeper thrown out of this game. Swanner was upset. Stevon's going to get two minutes, and that time the whole Invader team ready to keep Jamie off of Stevon. Stevon pleading his case, but he's not going to get anywhere. He just took the ball after the play was over and kicked it at Swanner. Invaders will go on the power play. Unsportsmanlike conduct call. The Invaders are 0 for 1 on the power play tonight. Time of that penalty is 2-11. Now, if there's one thing Chicago didn't need to do there, it was commit a stupid penalty. That's exactly what Stevon did. The rest of the invaders made sure they stepped in front of Swanner there because if Jamie gets booted out of here, then I guess you got to use Oscar in goal. Don't blame Jamie for being upset at all. I mean, that's the second time tonight they've taken a cheap shot at the goalkeeper. This time the invaders will get the power play. Rudy to Walter. His shot bounces high off the glass into the corner. Kia trying to get it there. Dumps it out to Pisano on the right side. A minute 39 left in the penalty. Tobin. Red line, right side to Oscar, a couple of steps in, feeds it back to Toby. Toby pushes it ahead for Schlothauer. He fires, and it's over the glass and out of play. Hit the top of the glass and bounced off into the stage. Goal kick Chicago with 12.17 left in the game and a minute 29 left in the penalty. Zimmerman, outlet, right side at midfield, and he threw it away. Threw it over the glass and out of play. And that gives the Invader fans a chance to... Um, do their best at riding the opposition, something they're quite good at, and they will display most uh, assuredly next Friday when Keith Poser back in town. Tobin ahead to Pisano. Pisano shot, Rudy scores! Beautiful feed from Pisano, and Rudy rammed it home, and the Invaders lead 6-4. to four. Another hat trick for Rudy Pikasinski. He goes to the tie for the league lead now. Second hat trick of the year. Valencia is the only other one that has two. Power play goal. It comes at 2.57 of the period. Pikasinski from Pisano. And Rudy now has 10 goals on the year. Oscar picks up his fifth assist of the season. 
And the Invaders lead 6-4. to four. Steve on with it, midfield line. Drop it back to Schindler. Schindler ahead for Matus. Matus had it taken away by Steve Frick. Frick up the left side. Frick's got Rudy. Wall pass. Rudy just missed it in front of him. Rudy looking for a feed back up on the point. And he tried to get it to Magic. It was taken away by Valencia. Valencia around one, around two. Picked up by Tima. He gets around him. Valencia feeds. Shot. Valencia couldn't get to the feed. Briones almost gave him a very nice ball up front. Valencia couldn't quite get there. And Stevan and Tima get tangled. And Tima will get whistled for the foul. That's the first one of the period on Canton. Chicago has only one. Corner kick Chicago. Stevan from the right side. Stevan. Couple of steps, knocked it right into the chest of Pikasinski, and now Swanner. Oh, Jamie bobbled that and just did scoop that up before it went in. He had a tough time handling that. He let one in like that against Memphis Wednesday night, but Jamie, with a quick hands, able to grab a hold of that. Magic man ahead to Kia. Kia back to Tim Tima. Tima inside the invader red line, now pushes it outside to Schlotthauer, to Frick. Frick spin move behind Schindler. Frick down on the left side, turns back to the net. Looking for a feed out front. Scott Schlotthauer, he can't get the shot away because of good defense by Briones. And back it comes to uh, Celestin, and the holding call will be called on Matus as he had a pretty good lock on Kia. They, they call it obstruction. In any event, the invaders will put it in play from just outside the box. If that takes place another foot, <laughs> maybe even six inches inside, it could have been a penalty kick. That was also the fifth power play goal for Pikasinski. 10.53 to play in the game. 6-4 Canton. Magic to put it in play to Tima. He shoots. It's deflected out front by either Stevon or Zimmerman. I'm not sure which one got that. Zimmerman ends up with the ball in his hands, and the outlet comes to Schindler. Schindler, left side at midfield. And ahead it comes to Briones. Briones, ball knocked away from behind by Frick, taken by Celestin. Celestin to Stevie Frick. Frick up the left side of the floor. Invaders attack three on three. Frick, around one, around two, wall pass high off the boards, comes out to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer dishes back at midfield to Pisano. Pisano down for uh, Steve Frick. Frick inside a man, it's loose. Frick falls on top of Zimmerman. Zimmerman throws Frick to the ground, and that draws a fracas there, and Frick wisely steps away from that. And the call will... Not sure who the foul was on. I guess it was on... Uh, on Chicago. Canton will put it in play. Third foul on Chicago. Rudy tied for the league lead with five power play. Goes out front. Kia trying to find a feed on the left side, and it was knocked away there by Stevan. And coming up with it is Valencia. Chava up the right side of the floor for Chicago. Valencia picked up by Pisano. Double teamed by Frick. They drop it back. Schindler. Schindler around Oscar. Drops it over. Stevan on the left side. Shot no. Headed away. Off the boards. Valencia with a shot kicked away by Swanner. Swanner trying to get Briones out of his territory. And they dump it in Valencia. Valencia and Pisano. And it's dumped out in the midfield area to Matus. Matus knocked it into the cheap seats. Goal kick Canton. 9.44 left in the game. The Invaders lead by two. Six to four. After Chicago had rallied to tie the game. In the third period. Gertie's second hat trick of the year. Which we pointed out a minute ago. And that makes the score me one, the PA one. They got one first, I got one first. Okay. Here is Jamie with a long outlet taken away by Comrie. Comrie, who is rapidly becoming the Invaders fan favorite on this team, knocked away by Pisano. And it's taken back, uh, Wolf has it off the feed from uh, Schilling. Shot, oh, deflected over the glass and out of play. That'll be a corner kick as Pisano deflected it. Off the shot by Swindells. 9.27 left in the game, Invaders by two, six to four. Goals in this quarter by Kramer and Pikasinski. Rudy with his second hat trick of the year. Glenn to put it in play. Dishes out. Shot off the wall. No, it comes back and hits the Chicago player who took the shot right in the face. That was Wendell. Wendell tries to slide to knock it away from Pisano, but Pisano able to clear in the goal area. Jamie outlet to Kia. Kia with a move around one and now has to back up as Comrie came over to try to steal it away. And Kondrich with the ball right side at the Invader red line. Now left side to Tobin and back to Pisano. Nine minutes left in the game, and Kramer got behind his man. Wolf Kramer shoots. Good play by Zimmerman to knock that away. Tobin on the rebound, takes it into the left corner. And Toby back out to the red line to Pisano. Pisano to Kramer in the left corner. 
And the collision there, it bows over the glass and out of play. Who touched it last? Chicago did. It'll be a kick in from the left corner for the Invaders. Kramer and Swindell's over there fighting for it. And Swindell's is the guy they say dumped it out. 8.46 left, Canton 6, Chicago 4. WHBC FM 94, Canton, Ohio. Tobin across the floor. Condridge shoots, and that's in the stage. And now it is a goal kick for Chicago. 8.43 to play. Tobin, Kramer, and Kia. The front line for Canton. Condridge and Pisano on the... Again, the line's juggled because of the injury situation at midfield. Kramer usually plays on the line with uh, Rudy and Magic. And he had been playing midfield with Frick and Kia. But this is the way they've got him lined up now. And then, hey, you can't complain. They've got two goals in this period. And they lead 6-4. Zimmerman in goal for Chicago. Outlet midfield intercepted by Kramer. But then taken back by Schindler. And there's a fight for it on the boards. Kondrich gets it away to Artie. Back to Tomo. Tomo trying to get around Schindler. He's double teamed. And Tomo comes out of there with the ball. Tomo sends it hit for Kia. And oh, what a play. Rebound. Zimmerman with a great save off the shot by Kia. Kramer tried for the rebound. Zimmerman got that too. And Schindler has it at midfield. Long lead pass is knocked away by Kondrich. Tobin heads it forward for Kia. Left side of midfield. Invaders on the attack. Kia knocked off the ball by one man. And then Stevine clears it ahead. And it's Valencia left side at midfield. Pisano and Kia double team. And Pisano comes away. Valencia took a wicked shot. And then Schindler hammered Pisano. Valencia upset when the ball was took away, taken away, and he tried to leg whip Pisano. Didn't get him. And Oscar still looking. Now Valencia comes up and has cooled off a little bit. Four fouls on Chicago with 7.58 left. They have only one more to give. They're dangerously close to drawing the sixth foul. Tobin will put the ball in play for the Invaders. As soon as they put it at the spot where the foul took place, it's at the Chicago red line on the right side of the floor. Center of the floor to Pisano. His pass is picked away. Valencia had a little trouble with that. Now comes up with it. Valencia through the midfield stripe. Ahead to an open man. Swanner, good play coming out of the net to knock that away from Briones. And back out comes uh, Valencia. Valencia working back to the net. Picked away by, by uh, Tobin, but taken back by Schindler. And Tobin got it back again. Now Valencia and Kia fight for it. And this time the foul will go on, on Valencia. That's the fifth foul as he and Kia tangled up. On the push call, and now the next foul will give Canton a man advantage. They have a two-goal lead, 6-4. 7.35 left in the game. Oscar Pisano with it in the Canton end. Ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy up in front of the invader bench, left side of the floor. Now back to Oscar. Oscar, left side feed to Magic. Celestin, unmarked up the left side. Celestin, he shoots, and it hit somebody in the head. One of the Chicago players, I believe, and goes up over the glass and out of play. And that'll be a corner kick for the Invaders from the right side with 7.18 left in the game. And the Invaders hanging on to a 6-4 lead. Comrie back onto the field. And I think you might be able to hear the reception he's got. Part of his problem is he wears number 11. That's the same number that Tozer has. At least Comrie has some hair. Tozer and Louisville will be here next Friday. 8.05 kickoff. Celestin. Tima lets it fly. Schlotthauer fires wide to the left side. Frick with a follow. Rudy, it's loose and cleared away at the last minute by Wolf. Tima gets it back at midfield. Zimmerman was hung out to dry, and it's a good thing his defender Wolf got there in time. They look for Rudy again. His shot, no. Rebound. Magic dumps it in. Knocked away, and Zimmerman pounces on the ball. Rudy trips over him, and Zimmerman throws Rudy down. Rudy was coming in and lost his balance and tripped over the goalkeeper, and then Zimmerman decided to give him a little extra push. And Glenn and Rudy having some words out in front. And there will be uh, just the one call. They give Rudy a foul on that. Coming up the floor with it is Glenn. Glenn and Celestin into the corner. Glenn lost the ball. Celestin pushes it ahead. Comrie had the shot deflected. It goes high over a couple of players. Headed up in the air by Wendell. Schindler tries to get it ahead. Frick missed it, but... Uh, Celestin clears to midfield. Wolf heads it back right into the chest of Frick. Frick, nice move to get around his man. Frick, he pushes it ahead for Magic. The pass is short, and it's taken away, and there's a collision. And obstruction on Frick as Frick took Swindells down. And that's the third foul on the Invaders. 
Six for Canton, six and a half minutes left in the game. Glenn sends it ahead. This is Wendell with it. Wendell puts it over the glass into section 12. Canton will put it back in play. The Invaders lead 6-4. And the referees would be well advised to watch this one very closely the rest of the way. Because there have been some tempers surfacing. And uh, we've already had one fight in the first half that saw two guys thrown out of the game. And we've had a couple, two or three near altercations here in the second half. I would be especially leery if the Invaders get another goal. If they put it away to watch to see what happens. Swanner puts the ball on the floor. He'll come out with it. Pushes it ahead for Rudy. Rudy midfield circle. Left side feed to Schlotthauer at midfield. Back at the Canton red line to Tima and back to Walter. 6.07 left in the game. Now back in the arc to Swanner. Swanner around Valencia. Sends it ahead for Magic. Celestin taken down by Steven. No call. Coming up the floor is Briones. Briones tried to get it for Cele for. Uh, Valencia, Celestin able to knock it away. Celestin and Schlotthauer fight for it. Wall, and it's sent in right into the chest of Swanner. Long outlet, and Rudy on the breakaway. He shoots, and Zimmerman just got a hand on it to knock it into the corner. Rudy inside Matus, looking for a feed out front. Fricky feeds to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer will back it up to Celestin at midfield. Five and a half minutes left in the game. Celestin, couple of steps into Schlotthauer. He's got an open man. Rudy couldn't get to the ball. It was a little bit behind him. And now it's Steve Frick. Back to the Magic Man. Celestin outside the Chicago red line and back to midfield to Schlotthauer. 5.15 to play. Schlotthauer move around one. Ahead for Tima. Tima got away. He will shoot, and it's deflected out front. Good defensive play that time by Louis Matus. Tima getting back quickly. They get ahead to Brionis. Brionis in a race with Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer wins that one. Dumps it into Swanner. Outlet, red line, right, left side to Celestin. 4.55 to play. Celestin around Valencia. Ahead for Frick. Frick shoots. No, rebound. Pikasinski hit the post. Rudy was looking for number four. And they get it back out to Tima. Tima, left side to Tobin at the red line. Toby on the point. Now right point to Tima. Tima launches it in the corner for Tobin. Matus gets there first, but knocked it right back to Toby. And it's loose in front. It rolls in the box. And Zimmerman picks it up there for Chicago. 4.27 left in the game. The Shockers, I think they wanted a time, but they couldn't get it. And coming ahead with it is Schindler. Schindler had the ball deflected by Kia. Kia taken away. And it is uh, Kramer. Now Kondrich. Kondrich jumps over the man who tried the sliding tackle. Kondrich, wall pass, loose. Kia scores! And somebody was asleep out in front of the Chicago net. Kia will get the goal. Time of the goal, 10.57. Kondrich gets the assist. And Chicago calls time. They trail 7-4 to four now as Kia picks up his seventh goal of the season. Gondrich, his fourth assist, and two of them came tonight. And the Invaders lead 7-4 to four with 4.03 left to play. We come back in 30 seconds. Four oh three left, 7-4. to four. The Invaders with a lead. Chicago scored three straight to tie it in the third. The Invaders have scored three straight to give themselves what would appear to be a reasonably comfortable lead, but with 4.03 to play, nothing is certain. Chicago to put it in play. Glenn drops it back to Valencia. Valencia head, headed out by Pisano. Now Matus working on uh, Kramer. They get it ahead to Glenn. Glenn with Kondrich back to the net. Kondrich forces him to the outside. Glenn, wall pass, Valencia, it's loose, it scores. A couple of invaders got tangled up out front. Swanner and uh, Oscar, I think, and a couple of Chicago players. Swanner and Pisano ended up getting knocked down. Valencia ends up with a goal. Time of the goal is 11-12, and Rudy Glenn gets the assist. And so now it's 7-5. So Chicago not ready to roll over and die just yet. 
Valencia, his second goal of the night. He's got 12 on the year now. The Invaders send it down on the Chicago end. Matus there dumps it in the goal area for Zimmerman. Zimmerman, outlet midfield, intercepted by Kondrich, ahead to Kia. Kia, Chicago red line, back at midfield to Tobin. Toby couldn't control it. Pisano gets it, shovels it ahead to Kondrich. Kondrich, sliding play by Valencia to knock it away. Kondrich and Valencia fight for it. And Valencia able to get inside Tomo. Now Glenn. Glenn and Tomo collide. Tomo draws the fourth foul. Glenn ahead. Valencia back to the net. And they didn't put the ball in play at the right spot, so we'll do it again. Five fouls on Chicago. Four on Canton in the period with 3.21 left. And the Invaders lead 7-5. to five. Wolf in the plug corner for Glenn. Comrie with a shot and Swanner with a point-blank save. Tobin heads it out. Wolf heads it back in, but Kia shovels it ahead for Kramer. Hardy back to Pisano, forward for Don Tobin, left side at midfield. Now Kia at the Chicago red line, around one, around two. Wolf knocked it away. Kia got it back to Pisano. Pisano clears up the right side, pushes it for Kramer. Hardy looking in, feeds Kia, ball knocked away. And Comrie comes away with it for Chicago. Three, or rather, 2.56 left in the game. Long lead into the Canton end. Kramer, or rather, uh, Tobin, I'm sorry, will win the race with Wolf. And Swanner outlet midfield off the boards for Kramer. Kramer trying to put a move on Matus. Matus with a sliding effort to knock it away, but Kondrich gets it right back for Canton. Kondrich fires, and it's loose out front and just deflected out of play. As Zimmerman got a piece of that, and that'll be a corner kick Canton from the left side with 2.38 to go with the Invaders leading 7-5. Don Tobin will be the trigger man from the spot in the left corner. Set plays, they have been deadly over the years, uh, especially when Toby is the guy putting it in play. 7-5 Invaders. Don Tobin looks at the situation, waiting for Terry Campbell to tell him it's okay. Comrie is being substituted for, and uh, that's what we're waiting on for Elvis to get back to the bench. Now we're ready. Tobin out front. Pisano winds and fires and scores! Pisano, the goal, Tobin, the assist. It's 8-5. to five. Time of the goal, 12-24. For Pisano, it's his third goal of the season. For Tobin, his seventh assist. And the Invaders back up by three, 8-5. With two minutes and 36 seconds left in the game. With it for Chicago, Valencia ahead to Stevon. Stevon in goal. Swanner comes out to knock it away. Ah, Jamie's going to get two minutes for the handball. He tried to come out and got a hand on it, and uh, he was outside the box. And so Chicago will get a power play. This will be Chicago's first power play opportunity of the night. The Invader penalty killers have given up five straight goals. They would dearly love to break that streak here. Swanner. We'll get the handball penalty. Time of the penalty, 12.31. Five fouls on Chicago and four on Canton. So if Chicago commits another foul, they would lose the man advantage. 2.29 left. Valencia to put it in play. Stevan. Back to Valencia in the corner. And now back out at the red line to Stevan. Stevan pushes it over. Comrie in the corner, shot no. Glenn whiffed on the shot, followed by Valencia. Right in the chest, Swanner took that. And Stevan knocks it over the glass and out of play. Invaders will control. At seventh assist by Tobin, he's tied for the league lead now. 2-12 to play in the game and a minute 44 left in the penalty and the invaders will send it long up oh, three line violation take it back to the canton red line stevan will put the ball in play there right side to uh, swindell shot wide to the left valencia down in the corner for comrie comrie out to valencia valencia red line to stevan stevan couple of steps in right side shot blocked by Antonio Valencia whiffed on the rebound now he's in a race with Frick Frick he comes away with the ball Frick around one and the ball knocked away by Swindell Valencia got it back Frick out on him Frick lets him alone Kramer comes over to contest minute 40 left of the game minute 12 in the penalty shot by Schindler hit the crossbar 
And it is Valencia with it back for Chicago. Now Swindells. Swindells. And nobody home out front for the pass. Valencia, another weak shot. And Comrie gets it back. Left to the goal area out front. He shoots, hits the crossbar. And it's back out to the red line to Steve on. 49 seconds left of the penalty. Shot wide. Lewis Comrie with a follow. Knocked it out of play. Minute 13 left in the game. 45 seconds left in the penalty. And the Invaders will have a goal kick. Zimmerman way up out of the net, but with a three-goal deficit, you're not going to see a sixth attacker. And if you are, it's going to be Zimmerman. Swanner has it in the goal area for the Invaders. Jamie, long outlet, left side at midfield. It's headed up by Kramer to Steve Frick. Frick at the Chicago red line will choose some time. Tima, pass taken away by Rudy Glenn. Here comes Chicago, two on two. Trying to get it ahead to Comrie. Comrie with Tima. And back out front, Valencia shot blocked by Antonio. Valencia shoves Antonio to the ground. And they, I think they call that they hit the girder work, and they're going to put it back in play out at the red line. Chicago will put it in play with 52 seconds left. Stevan over to Swindell. Back to Stevan. Left side to Valencia. His shot, no. Antonio blocked it. And it's over the glass and out of play. 16 seconds left in the penalty and 44 seconds left in the game. The Invaders will go to 4-1. and one. Chicago will drop to 3-3. Three and three. There's a good save by Swanner off the shot, and the outlet comes to Antonio. Antonio ahead, and Valencia deflected it. And Valencia and Kramer fight for it. And Valencia sends it forward. Swindells and Antonio there in the corner. The penalty is over. Antonio takes it away. Valencia got it back. Shot Swanner with a save right in front of the goal mouth. Long lead for Kramer up the left side. Kramer's got a three on two if they hurry. Kramer trying to get inside. Stevon trips and Tima with the ball for Canton. Taken down by Stevon. Tima's upset. And we got all kinds of trouble going on down there. Kramer wants a piece of Glenn. Stevon steps into it. Six seconds left in the game. Tima and Glenn John. And they'll just wisely break this up. Come on, guys. There's only six seconds left. The issue's decided. Stevon dumps it in the goal area. Zimmerman will send it out. Four seconds. Three. Frick knocks it away. And that's over. And the Invaders win it 8-5. to five. Canton scores four goals in the fourth uh, quarter. And they win their fourth of the year they go to four and one Chicago falls to three and three and we'll be back to wrap this one up in 60 seconds Mike Lashoff tossed out of the game for Chicago. Scoring went like this. At 12.29 of the first period, Schlotthauer from Pikasinski to make it 1-0. 12.29 in 
Then in the second period, Pikasinski from Frick at 3.40 to make it 2 nothing. Valencia scored from Ruben Stevon at 6.23 to make it 2-1, but the Invaders got two more. While the five-minute penalties on Nomoski and Lashoff were being served, it was four on four. The Invaders got two goals during that period. Rudy's second goal, team of the assist at 9.31, and Steve Frick at 13.47. Kia got the assist. So the Invaders led 4-1 at halftime, and then Chicago came out like a house of fire in the third quarter. 3.07, Comrie from Wolf to make it 4-2. At 6.55 of the third, Rincon, a shorthanded goal from Wolf to make it 4-3. And Briones from Valencia tied it at 9.09 of the third. That's the way the third quarter ended, 4-4. Then the Invaders blew it open at the start of the fourth. Three straight goals, 116, Kramer from Condridge. 2.57, Pikasinski, power play goal from Pisano. And 10.57, Kia from Condridge to make it 7-4. Valencia brought Chicago back to within two at 11.12. Glenn the assist, it was 7-5, and Pisano put the icing on the cake at 12-24 on the Don Tobin assist to make it 8-5. Canton outshot Chicago 33-32. 18 saves for the Canton goalkeepers, divided evenly, nine apiece for Swanner and Namoski. 19 saves in the Chicago goal for Zimmerman. The Invaders go to 4-1 on the season. They win it 8-5. Back with a closing comment after this.